Okay, so first we're gonna need a play along or a tune. We're gonna use um, just for um, showing purposes now. So um, I'm gonna pick a tune from my band, a tune I wrote. Um, and we can just drag and drop it into an audio track. I'm gonna delete the MIDI tracks here. We don't need them. Okay, and there we go. We have the tune here. Um, we need to analyze this tune to make sure it's gonna be in sync later on to our master tempo and to our master metronome. Enabled in this process is called warping. It's quite easy. Um, one of the fastest way would be just play the tune and then tap in the temp. So I'm gonna tap in the temp here now. And while I'm tapping the temp in here now, the temp changes slightly, but it's gonna be around 120. So I type in 120. So the next thing is I'm gonna activate the warping here. And then I um, have to find the first, um, oh yeah, the, the very, very beginning of the tune. If I scroll in here, and I can create this little uh, yellow marker uh, by double clicking. I press right click on my mouse and I'm gonna say, Ableton set 1.1.1, so the very, very beginning of the tune right here. I'm now going to say warp from here, so analyze from here again. And I have different options here because it is an electronic tune and most new songs are recorded to a click as well. So acoustic songs from indie bands or something. So usually you will be uh, all right to warp from here straight. So it would stay in 120 and analyze it in 120. So we now have the whole tune synced to um, the, the master temp. So I could switch on my metronome now. On my metronome. And then press play again. Could use a space bar or could press play here. So the tune is now uh, synced to the master temp, which means I can change um, the master temp um, to what I want to start rehearsing with it. For most samples or for most tunes, um, important to do is choose the algorithm complex pro so it makes the tune sounds a bit nicer and then you can start rehearsing to the tune <laughs> 